Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on August 28th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes and a look at world weather. We're starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. 304 angstroms right here, and no major solar flares to talk about. Some pretty stable imagery right now. Two large sunspots, equatorial region. We've been showing them all week long. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, some pretty large plasma loops from a coronal mass ejection on the backside of the sun. Visible here in the incoming position, outgoing Earth to scale. Look at that. Just amazing images of our sun today. And thanks so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to smack that like button and to share with your friends and family this amazing video and information. Another look here at those large plasma loops as they fired off the surface of the sun. Wow, that's a lot of energy. That created a very large coronal mass ejection. Nothing major heading our way. This was in an outgoing position, but look at that action. Just some amazing stuff. So grateful to have you all watching right now to share this imagery with you. Having a look at multi-spectrum, bit of a coronal hole building in the Northern Hemisphere, but noting out here all of the last 48 hours of events. Little plasma solar tornado in the Northern Hemisphere developing in the last few images. And another look here at 171 at the sunspot regions as there are five and another look here at the large sunspot regions equatorial region on our sun still have not produced a major solar flare in an earth facing position so heads up and stay tuned to the daily do current space weather conditions there are none solar winds coming in at 341 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux in a heightened B range after bottoming out after an M class solar flare reported a couple days ago. Geomagnetic activity KP index of two. A quick look here at Lasco imagery brought to you by Soho Communications. NASA is showing all of the energy coming off of our sun and as well noting the coronal mass ejections there and as well that most recent one noting in those first few images here's a look at the cme on the iswa space prediction spiral large blast heading out towards the bepi satellite and as well just recently another small cme in the same direction so from the same sunspot region and as well showing all of the energy here forecast for the next five days now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we just had a large earthquake earlier today, a 7.1 earthquake in Indonesia. Gili Air, Indonesia, 7.1 earthquake, very deep as well. Look at all the depths of these earthquakes. 517 there, 368 there, Timor Leste, as well, 447 kilometer depth. And then Talad, Indonesia, right up into Banda Sea. Philippines plate, and then a 612 kilometer depth earthquake there. Fiji 4.3, 4.8 earthquake there. Japan, pretty quiet for the region. Hawaii, quieting down. Alaska, largest being a 4.6 there at Sandpoint. Then we get to North American plate, largest being a 3.7 earthquake, Riviera and California Mexico border. And as well, pretty notable earthquake here, Madison, Ohio, 3.6 earthquake just on the other side of Lake Erie, close to me. And then across the Central American plate, you can see lots of action there, 5.7 Columbia, and as well 5.0 there, Peru. Lots of SO2 coming out of this region. Around the rest of the world, across the African plate, pretty quiet. And a 4.8 earthquake there, Afghanistan, 200 kilometer depth. And there is multiple other earthquakes being reported, not shown here, but nothing major to report. 
having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, noting the depths. A lot of deep earthquakes the last seven days, just saying. And the last couple of videos have been earthquake warning videos. So heads up, we just saw a pretty sizable 7.1 earthquake. And there's lots more activity to come. I do believe that we are on the verge of something even bigger. So heads up, this is a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And right now we have an active 48 volcanoes erupting. Now I wanted to share here satellite imagery. This is the last 48 hours. This is yesterday showing over northern BC and Alberta. As you can see, blanketed with wildfire smoke. But then huge fires erupting yet again today across northern BC. So fires in the south, fires in the north, and everything is being pushed north from a huge eastern Pacific low. And then look at all that wildfire smoke. Northwest territories. Thousands of people forced to evacuation yet again something is building throughout this region we also have tropical storm franklin as a category four hurricane today packing winds 240 kilometers per hour having a look at satellite imagery and where it's heading for the past 12 hours moving northward and then we've also got Tropical Storm Idalia, who is right now projected to gain some enormous amount of strength as it heads into the Gulf, and the forecast does not look good for the Florida Panhandle, Panhandle. so stay tuned, forecast coming up shortly. Just wanted to share some more satellite imagery across the Atlantic Ocean today. As you can see, a large Atlantic dust storm here developing all of this stuff, uh, all of the dust being swept off of the African plate. Highly visible there on satellite imagery. All of these images brought to you by Zoom Earth. It is an app that you can download yourself and check out all of this imagery, or you can hang out here with daily events worldwide as I compile it all together. Also sharing here windy models of the SO2 very thick particulates coming out from the northern BC fires right now and as well Northwest Territories. And all of that is sweeping right across Greenland, Iceland and over into Europe. So encompassing the planet all are a lot of particulates right now. SO2, mostly from the fires and volcanoes. You can see a lot of SO2 coming out of Peru right now. And then as well across the rest of the world, emissions coming off of Kamchatka and as well the southern islands between Japan and them. Indonesia. Africa. And then let's get to weather here across North America as the major systems that will be affecting the United States will be Tropical Storm Adelia and as well Tropical Storm Franklin who may make a little bit of landfall on the coast of Newfoundland. Having a look here at the windy models for the next few days. Adelia leaving Cuba right now and most likely will gain strength as it heads straight for Tallahassee, Tampa Bay region. And then watch as it heads northeastward and affects all of the eastern seaboard of the United States. Big system there for all of the Atlantic provinces at the same time as landfall up for Idalia. And then we've got an Alberta clipper here developing in the long range, high pressure ridge blocking both of these systems. Might just actually scoot them eastward Stay tuned for newly and updated models as they do change. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. 
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.